Hello Sagittarius, this is you versus them for January 29th through February 4th. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs strongly. Okay, let's see. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Alright, let's see what's going on for you guys currently. Hmm. I wanted to turn it to the monitor. That's why I did that. Um, I think there's something that you guys are wanting to take action on from the past. It's something that you're interested in. Something that you guys are trying to figure out. And I feel like you're actively, you know, exploring maybe like what has happened um, between you and someone else or with something currently let's see what's going on with them hmm there, there's an opportunity that has been offered to your person that you're thinking about there's an offer on the table um, this offer may involve um, money something something that they could advance upon like um, materially in their life could also be an offer from someone like to date even um, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy hmm let's see what's interfering with you guys and this person on your side how you see it yeah, that you were probably giving too much. Um, either you feel like you were giving too much and the other person wasn't, or they feel like they were giving too much and you weren't giving enough. Um, and then maybe what you guys are currently like examining right now, like is what they said true. That, you know, I wasn't um, contributing enough in the relationship. So I think, you know, you're, you're really trying to, you're trying to figure out, is there something that you did um, in this connection here? Okay. Let's see what's interfering with them coming towards you. A king of pentacles here. I feel like this person has received an offer from someone, um, somebody that likes stability, that likes commitment. Um, this is a family person, somebody that likes to be in a relationship. Uh, they also like the finer things in life, and they. This is the kind of person I feel like may um, shower people with gifts. Even they like to take care of the person that they're with. Um, very supportive energy here. Okay, let's see what the influence is for you guys. The Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. I think a lot of you are, it's, it's like you're trying to figure out if, if you didn't do enough. If you weren't there for the person that um, that you cared about, or you care about now, um, I think you're you're trying to wait and see what happens. Maybe maybe some of you know about this person being involved with someone else, and you're trying to wait and see if it's something that is significant. And I think you're you're really contemplating, um, you know, investing more into this relationship and building with this person, if that is something that is even like on the table at this point is what I'm getting. I think this person likes the finer things in life. I think they'd like to keep up appearances even here. Hmm. Let's see what their influence is over here. We have Taurus energy strong here. Okay. Maybe a Taurus you guys are dealing with. This 
person works a lot as well. Yeah. I feel like this person um, is following. They feel like they're on the right track. They're, they're trying to do things that um, make them feel good. They're doing what they feel is best for them. And, and I feel like they think what's best for them is um, a very committed relationship. One where they have somebody that um, is willing to take care and support them um, no matter what. Somebody that is, um, when they're down and out, that can lift them up, not only financially, but um, emotionally. They're looking for support here. Okay. Let's see what's blocking you guys currently. It's Aquarius energy there. This person still loves you. And I feel like... I feel like what you're doing right now, if this is you on this side, Sagittarius, because this energy can go vice versa. I feel like there is no, there's really no use in trying to um, beat yourself up over what what happened or didn't happen before in the past. I think what's blocking you right now is you not being in in this present time and realizing that there is still love here that you guys share okay and that what is needed is to to do what you feel like is necessary right now if you want this person if you still love this person to do what you feel like is is right in this moment come out the past come to the present Invest more time and energy. Do not wait around and see what this person's going to do. It's what I'm getting here, okay? Do not wait and see what they're going to do. It's to do what you feel like you need to do. Okay? Let's see what's blocking them. The hermit. This person's probably isolating themselves. And guess what they're doing? They're also stuck in the past. They're thinking about the fact that, um, you know, you guys weren't solid. There was no stability. But also thinking about the love that you shared. Thinking about the growth that they would have liked to see happen. Thinking about the time that they invested. Thinking about all that they did, all that they gave, all that they, you know, they sucked up, basically. They absorbed a lot of the, a lot of the, um, the blame, a lot of the, you know, they, they gave more to kind of supplement what they, what they felt like you guys weren't giving. They feel like you lack the maturity to be in a relationship. It's like they're thinking about all the things that they invested. All the time that they waited around for you to change. All the time that they waited around for you to give them what they gave you. And, um, yeah. I feel like, you know, whatever whatever they feel like you've done, is they're highlighting it. And they're stuck on it. Okay. Let's see what the advice is for you guys here. Do not wait around. Do not see. Do not take your hands off the wheel. Okay. Do not say, oh, there's nothing that I can do in this situation. I think this is for you to unstick yourself. Do not wait around and see what this person's going to do. To be enlightened about what it is that you need to do. To realize what you need to do. And that is to invest more time and energy into this connection if this is what you want. To actually make a move towards this person if that's what you want. Okay. Let's see what the advice is here. What is the advice? What is the advice? 
Wow. I feel like this person, you know, and I always say this because and see this person is looking at back at the love that you guys shared you know all the time and effort they put into this and so this person is looking for the person that they feel like they can spend their life with they're looking for their life partner their path but it's right here it's right here And I think, you know, it's necessary for them to decide whether or not they are willing to give this another chance. They need to hear the call as well, because I, I get the feeling that you guys, you know, even though you're their destiny and they're probably yours, um, we all have the power of free will. And um, I think what, what they are in search of is basically you. Okay? Basically you. So their advice is to hear this call. And I feel like, you know, the call is coming from your direction. All right? So let's see what you guys will do here in this situation. I think you'll be here. I think that you will, um, I think you will, you know, get your emotional stability back. And I think, I don't know who needs to come towards who, but I feel like you'll be here. You'll be here, still loving this person. And I think you will give them exactly what it is that they, they feel like they deserve. You will give them what they deserve in this situation. The thing is, the only ones that's here are the ones that's facing the past. There's no action being taken here, okay? No whatsoever. So let's see what they will do. What will they do? The Knight of Wands. I don't see this person making any moves towards you. I see them wanting to though because they have one foot in and one foot out. Okay? They're really unsure. It's still up in the air. Okay? Let's bridge the gap between the two of you. See what energy you guys are meeting in the middle on here. The Queen of Wands. You guys find each other attractive. And I feel like this person really is contemplating making an offer here. Making a decision here. And I think you guys would be ever so willing to accept an offer from this person or vice versa. There will definitely be an offer on the table here. With this Queen of Wands, I kind of feel like you guys are waiting on this person. Like you want to make an offer. And you want to offer your love and support to this person. Is what I'm feeling. Or they want to make an offer to you. But right now, it's still up in the air. Okay. Hmm. This person's going through a lot of um, spiritual healing over here. Spiritual awakening on this side over here. I feel like you guys definitely um, are considering this relationship. And you see growth and potential here. But this individual on this side is stuck as well. But I feel like this person is going through a spiritual awakening. Not only are they thinking about the things that happened um, that they feel like you guys did, but they're also thinking about the things that they have contributed as well to the breakdown 
um, of this this relationship for the time being um, this person is very unsure and I think what they're doing is waiting is waiting on you guys to um, to make an offer here but I think you guys are waiting on them as well as a thing and I think that's why it's, it's like stuck I think you are you know, you will be there for them if they if they try to come back. You will be supportive. You will give them what they want. You will give them what they deserve. But the question is, what will they do? Okay. So my Sagittarius friends, that's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon.